Hi there, this is Darius Alexander Sound. I'm here to answer a question today whether you can get more quality out of the Sennheiser G3 by turning the gain down on the G3 and the gain up on your recorder. Let me tell you about the setup I've got here. I've got my MixPre 10T and two Sennheiser G3s. They're each receiving on the same channel. One is at low gain, one is at high gain. You can see minus 30 decibels and plus 12 decibels. This 42 decibel gain difference is made up on channel two and channel three. Channel one is the boom. This sets up the premise of doing a test between the two. What you can see here is a deconvolutional comparison between the two recordings. Essentially, you can think of this like an EQ. The noise floor presented by the high gain G3 has a sharper tone to it as well as lower frequencies. Moving on to a comparison of an optimal level of voice, you can see there's very little difference in the spectrum apart from the low end. But looking at the spectrum difference doesn't really tell us everything that we need to know. We can hear that the G3 high gain unit sounds sharper than the low gain. My previous exploration of the G3 kits showed that at a zero decibel output, at their zero decibel gain output. Um, it showed remarkably little change of white noise in the spectrum. My suggestion would be that putting this at zero decibels or minus 30 decibels makes a marginal difference, but not that much. And those differences will quickly disappear whether you are using uh, a lower cost recorder like the handheld zooms or into a camera.